Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about placebo and nocebo effects in clinical research. More after the intro. Clinical research is a complex and important process that involves conducting scientific studies to evaluate and develop new medical treatments, devices, and interventions. It is an essential field that helps improve the quality of life for people around the world. Protocol design and development are crucial components of clinical research as they ensure the safety and efficacy of new treatments. Clinical trials are a key aspect of clinical research methodology as they test the effectiveness of new treatments on human subjects. However, clinical trials are not always straightforward. The placebo and nocebo effects can have a significant impact on clinical trials as they can influence patient response and subjective improvement. In this video, we will explore the basics of placebo and nocebo effects in clinical trials, including placebo control trials, blinded trials, and double-blind studies. But what are placebo and nocebo effects? Placebo refers to an inactive substance or treatment that has no therapeutic effect but is given to a patient as part of a clinical trial. Nocebo refers to negative side effects that occur when a patient is given an inactive treatment but believes it to be active. These psychological phenomena can have a significant impact on clinical trials as they can influence patient response and subjective improvement. For example, if a patient is given a placebo for pain relief but believes it to be an active drug, they may experience a reduction in pain symptoms. On the other hand, if a patient is given an inactive treatment but believes it to be harmful, they may experience negative side effects such as nausea, headaches, or fatigue. The placebo and nocebo effects are powerful psychological phenomena that can affect the outcome of clinical trials. To minimize their impact, researchers often use placebo-controlled trials. What are placebo-controlled trials? Placebo-controlled trials are clinical trials that involve administering an inactive treatment to some patients while others receive the active treatment. Patient expectations can play a role in subjective improvement, and placebo-controlled trials help researchers determine the true efficacy of a new treatment. For example, if a new drug is being tested for pain relief, researchers may give some patients the active drug and others a placebo. By comparing the effectiveness of the active drug to the placebo group, researchers can determine the true efficacy of the new treatment. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to using placebo-controlled trials. One potential disadvantage is ethical concerns. Some patients may feel uncomfortable receiving an inactive treatment, especially if they are suffering from a serious illness. Additionally, some patients may feel that they are not receiving proper medical care if they are given a placebo. Another disadvantage of placebo-controlled trials is potential bias. Patients who know they are receiving the active drug may have higher expectations and report greater improvement than those who receive the placebo. To minimize this potential bias, researchers often use blinded trials. What are blinded trials? Blinded trials involve concealing information from patients or researchers to minimize potential bias. There are different types of blinded trials, including single-blind, double-blind, and triple-blind studies. In single-blind studies, patients do not know whether they are receiving the active drug or a placebo but researchers do. In double-blind studies, both patients and researchers are unaware of who is receiving the active treatment or placebo. Triple-blind studies involve concealing information from patients, researchers, and those who analyze the data. Blinding is an essential aspect of clinical research methodology as it helps ensure the validity of study results. By concealing information, researchers can minimize potential bias and ensure that study results are reliable and accurate. Let us talk more about double-blind studies. 
Double-blind studies are particularly effective at minimizing potential bias. In these studies, both patients and researchers are unaware of who is receiving the active treatment or placebo. This type of trial design helps eliminate bias and ensures the validity of study results. However, there are potential disadvantages to double-blind studies. One disadvantage is increased costs. Blinding requires additional resources and may increase the overall cost of clinical trials. Additionally, logistical challenges may arise, such as ensuring that the active drug and placebo are indistinguishable. In conclusion, understanding placebo and nocebo effects is essential for clinical research professionals, including beginner clinical research associates. Placebo-controlled trials and blinded studies are crucial components of clinical research methodology, and double-blind studies are particularly effective at minimizing potential bias. Future research on placebo and nocebo effects may lead to further improvements in clinical trial design and ultimately benefit patients. In summary, the placebo and nocebo effects can have a significant impact on clinical trials by using placebo-controlled trials and blinded studies. Researchers can minimize potential bias and ensure the validity of study results. Double-blind studies are particularly effective at eliminating bias, but they may require additional resources and logistical challenges. As a beginner in clinical research, it is important to understand these concepts and their implications for clinical research methodology. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope you found it useful. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more clinical research content. We hope to see you again soon.